Hey, hey, it's Chandra Jesse on Motherless Mondays, where I am learning to turn my pain into purpose. Here, we talk about my experience with being motherless for 20 years. Today, I want to talk about the toughest thing that I've ever had to do, and that was to be a mother without having my mom. With my firstborn, it was the toughest because he was six months old when I became motherless. Here I was grieving a unexpected loss from my mom. No matter how long she was in that coma, I just believed in my heart that she was going to come out of it. As I watched my son every day, I remember looking into his eyes and knowing that he needed me. He needed me to love on him and he just needed me to be his mom. I remember so many times sitting there thinking, I need my mom too, baby. And I love my mom too. And I really need her right now. It was those moments where I knew that this journey was going to be hard and it was going to be lonely because my friends still had their mothers. I was not prepared. I was not ready at all to become motherless. I remember thinking, when do I introduce this child to new foods? When do I potty train? Um, now I gotta find a child care provider. Who can I trust with my child? Like there were so many things that crossed my mind that made me overthink things that she did. What am I gonna do now? Some of the things were urgent and some wasn't so urgent, but it still caused my mind to overthink. My questions for my mother over the years became endless. I had so many questions. There were so many times I wanted her advice to hear her voice, to give me a hug, to say, I love you to say that I could do it, that I was gonna be fine. I needed her bad. But as time continued, I had to press forward and make decisions the best way I knew how. I cried just about every single day. I would go into the bathroom and I would spray her perfume. And for some reason, just the scent of that gave me some type of ease and made me feel as though she was close to me. This journey is endless. Being a mom without your mom hasn't been easy. And I knew that no matter how depressed I was, how sad I was, or how much I missed her, I had to continue to push forward for my baby. I thank God that he was always there to direct my path. And when I began to go astray, there were signals because my mom instilled God in me when I was a child. I could sense when I needed to do better and I would do my very best. Being a mom without your mom is not for the weak, but continuing to press forward on this journey is now why I've made it and I'm still making it. I hope that you will be blessed and I will see you all in the next Motherless Monday where I am learning to turn my pain into purpose.